Hello everybody, welcome to the JavaScript course. In this video, I'm going to discuss the basic idea of DOM tree. So DOM here means the document object model, and it is helping us to show the hierarchical structure of an HTML page. So in this video, I'm going to visualize a DOM tree for you, and I'm going to discuss the major types of the nodes that can be found in a DOM tree. They are the document node, element node, text node, and the comment node. And also, I'm going to access those nodes by using the developer tools on the browser. Now, let us go to the HTML file first. The HTML file is rather simple. I have some components in my uh, HTML file. I have a head here, and the head has a title. And then my body has a number of other tags that are going to constitute this particular web page on the right hand side. So, in order to show the hierarchical structure of that web page, I have an idea by using a DOM tree viewer. So I've already opened a web page about it. So you can use this web page to fill your DOM tree. So the idea is to just paste your um, HTML code and the corresponding DOM tree will be shown um, on the next box. So let me try to do so now. I copy all the materials on the web page and then I paste it here. Then you can see that the DOM tree is shown uh, immediately. So you can see that there are a number of uh, hierarchical structures here. So this is actually what we call the document node. And after that, we have an HTML node. And you can see that. The head node here is actually a child of the HTML node shown here. And you can see that we have a text node here. And I'm going to explain the text node later on. And then we have a title, so on and so forth. So you can see that um, a certain HTML code can be converted to the um, DOM tree uh, very quickly by using a certain live DOM tree viewer like this one. Okay. So let me show you more about the content that you can understand from a DOM tree. Okay. So as I said, we have a text note here. So what does this text note mean here? We can see that uh, after our head opening tag, we have a carriage return. In addition to the carriage return, I also have some um, spaces or tabs. It depends on your particular uh, editor you use. So we have the carriage return as well as those spaces. And we can see that um, the text node is really corresponding to those new line character as well as the spaces. So this text node has some content which corresponds to the uh, spaces here as well as the new line character that is trying to help us change a line to another one. Okay. And then we have the title here. This title note corresponds to this title. Okay. And then we have the text content, which is shown here, which is just the content uh, embraced by the uh, title uh, text. Okay. And then we have some text here again. The text here refers to the uh, new line character here, followed by these spaces so the text look this having this kind of content okay so you can go further to see the uh, relationship between the dom tree and the html code so we can go further to the uh, body part so you can see that the body has a lot of text embedded and these texts are shown in this kind of format you can see that um h1p HR here, H2, and OL here are all indented with respect to the body node, which is actually an element node. So the nodes in purple are called the element nodes. Okay. So this is the text node, and this is the, the document node. And I'm trying to show you that we have a comment node corresponding to this comment on the HTML file. Okay. So this is also a node which is called a comment node. Okay, 
So in general, we can have a tree like this one. So let me repeat here. The text here refers to the new line character followed by the spaces converted from the tab key. So in my editor, when I press the tab button, I'm able to convert the tab into a number of spaces. So the text node is actually storing this kind of content. That's why it is not easy to see the content because they're actually empty spaces in general. Okay. So when we go further, we can have the um, same idea for the text node. Okay. And of course, for the comment node here, it just shows the comment, which is originally in green color on my editor. Okay. And when we go back to the PDF file here, you can see that um, the final note shown on the PDF file here is actually a text note, okay, which corresponds to the uh, final part uh, of the body. So this is the beginning of the body note, and at the end we have the um, new line character as well as some spaces followed by the uh, closing tag of the body um, tag, okay. So in general, we can have this kind of a DOM tree to help us visualize the component on a certain uh, HTML file. Okay. After that, we can try to visualize the elements by using the developer tools on a browser. So I'm using Firefox as a demonstration. So when I use the uh, Firefox, I can go to here, more tools, and then I can use the web developer tools. So when I click on it, I can see the content quite clearly. Okay, now you can see that when I put a cursor on top of the HTML part on the inspector shown here, I'm able to get the corresponding component on my web page. So you can see that the start of a web page header is already highlighted in blue. Okay. So when I do the same thing on the paragraph, you can see that the paragraph here is actually shaded in blue. Same for the word only and same for the rest of the sentence shown here. So you can see that when I use the developer tool, I'm able to inspect the corresponding part on my um, web page by putting my cursor on top of the code uh, shown on the inspector. Okay. So in addition to using the cursor here, I'm able to pick up a particular component on the web page by clicking on this button first, pick an element from the page. So when I put my cursor on top of this sentence, and when, and when I click on it, I'm able to see the corresponding component shown on the inspector page. Okay, so let me try again. Let me click on it first. And then when I try to click on point one here, you can see that I'm able to pick up the corresponding component on my uh, inspector page. Okay. So after picking up this component, I'm able to do something on it. I'm going to the console and then I'm trying to do something here. Okay. So actually, the most recent component that I picked up is known as index zero. So if I want to specify that particular component on the console, I can use the index number and before it I put a dollar sign here so that I can just use dollar sign zero to particularly pick up the component that I chose beforehand, which was the uh, most recent one that I chose. Okay. So I can change the color to pink by typing dollar zero dot style dot color equals pink. Pink is already surrounded by a pair of single quotes. Okay, so I'm able to change the color, and you can see that the color has been changed from black to pink. Okay, and then I can choose another one by using the uh, button here. When I click on it, I can pick up a component. How about picking another one? For example, the large heading here. Okay, so now this heading becomes element zero. So let me go back to this one to see the effect. Okay, when I do so, I'm able to choose the most recently selected component of a web page called the heading here. And then I'm able to do index zero dot style dot background 
I'm able to change it to purple so you can see that the uh, background has been changed to another color called purple. So we can remember that index zero here refers to the most recently picked element on the web page. Okay. So in addition to choosing the elements by using the inspector, I can also do the other way around by picking up the elements on the web page first that can be reflected on the inspector page. Okay. So I can right click here and then I, when I click inspect, you can see that I can pick up the, this particular component, which is the uh, point two here. So I'm able to pick up the second list element on the web page when I use the right click followed by the inspect button. Okay. So I can also do some amendment on the particular component that I already picked up by using the cursor. Okay, you can see that I want to turn the display value to be none. So you can see that point two is already not shown up here. Okay. So in this video, you can already know how to handle the DOM tree. First, you, you can use a certain live DOM viewer, and then you can paste your uh, HTML page here, and then you can see the corresponding um, elements. This is called a document node. This is an element node, and this is a, a text node, and this is a comment node. So in principle, we have these four major nodes for a DOM tree. Okay. And then I'm also able to show you the uh, developer tools in order to inspect the components on a certain uh, HTML file shown here. And after you have picked up a component, you can go to the console and then you can change the uh, effect that is visible on the web page on the spot. And you can see the effect is reflected on the web page immediately. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions about my video, please leave your questions on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.